Hello! You guys like how I intro these in my car? I noticed you guys really liked my last video where I did some thrift book shopping, so I wanted to do another video, and let's face it, I like doing it myself. I kind of like checking out the books and just being around books in general, so I'm gonna take you guys hopefully a couple different places today, and we'll see what we find. Of course, I'm always on the hunt for some Stephen King, but right now I'm also on the hunt for maybe some classics i definitely want to read some american classics in general so i'll keep an eye out for those as well i feel like where i'm at right now is going to be a really good opportunity to find some books like that so the first stop is actually a goodwill i believe this is like a textbook slash goodwill donation center so i saw in the pictures that it seemed to have a lot of books so let's go ahead and head inside Blind Assassin. I've never heard of that one, have you? By Margaret Atwood. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be like these words. This is really popular. Oh, really? Yeah, part of the Bill Hodges trilogy, but I'm not ready to read that. I'm mostly looking for hardbacks. Have you read The Martian? No, I have it though at home. Do you? I, I don't love when they do like the movie book covers. Yeah. I kind of. Sometimes it depends on the movie. I just love the cover. I think it's really pretty. I used to have it. I don't know where it went. I, I remember. Like or something. Aww. It's got like coffee on it. I like it. this one. Which is it? Magicness. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a cute one. Cute, huh? Yeah. Like old school? I love those types of covers. I didn't realize that was such a short book. Have you read this one, The Girl Who Played With Fire? Yep. Was it good? I like the series when you It's also one of those books like if you read it a certain time in your life, like it really- Speaks to you. Yeah, speaks to you. Yeah. Kindred? I, do I have that one? Or it's on my reading list. Actually, can I have that one? Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's about she time travels back into slave time. She's a black woman, mm -hmm. and it's like her, yeah, like time traveling to the time of slavery and like her trying to survive. It's pretty, it's really good. It's like science yeah. fiction, and also too, Octavia Butler was one of the first African American woman sci-fi writers that got pop popularity. Oh, popular. Um, and so she was kind of like a pioneer. Oh, cool. For the, woman and, and black woman, which is really cool. Yeah, this was definitely, this actually is on my TBR. Good yeah, eye. it's a really good book. Yeah, I don't think these have any, um, rhyme or reason. This was supposed to be, this was like a book going around on, on, um, book two? Book two for a while, yeah. Was it good? Did you read it? I don't know. I heard it was really good. I had I never read it myself. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna go this one. Oh yeah! Oh, that one's so cool. Look at there's a bunch of. Oh, I love those. Those are so cool looking. There's more. My sister just found this one. Was actually looking for this, and look at this cool copy. It's beautiful. Yes. yes. This has been on my thrift book shopping list for a while. One ninety nine. This one's supposed to be pretty funny. Stephen King. It's funny how often I see Dean Coons books. Oh, I wanted this. Yes! Oh, I just scored. I've been dying. This waitlist for Libby on this book has been so long. Have you heard of this book? Oh. Is it? Well, I guess it's only $2.99. Sweet.
are the books my sister picked up. Which, how cool are those copies? So this is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the first one and the second one. I think so, yes. Yeah, those are so cool. They'll be cool on the bookshelf. Like yeah, this. I love those types of covers. Yeah. And you got that one that has a cool cover too, Ender's Game. I do want to read that one. Yeah. Which is super cool. Very cool. You goo gone? Cause you can goo gone like that kind of stuff. I don't, but I'll, I'll figure something else out. And then I got, this is, she's a very popular author. I haven't read any of her stuff. I think this is one, if not her most famous book, so. Yeah, The um, Year of Magical Thinking. Is it like a self-help book? Uh, I think it's a little bit of a memoir. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I know it's been on like my TBR for a long time. Okay. So. Looks like a fast read. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a, you know, like, kind of like, I like Eat, Pray, Love, so it's kind of seems. Feel good book. Like yeah. Nice. Cool. But yeah. yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to borrow some of those. Those are really cool. Yeah. Okay, so I had really good luck at that Goodwill textbook donation center. So now we're at a different location, this other used bookstore. I've actually never been over here, like in this location or in this shop. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. I'm hoping they have a dollar section, but also my foundation is so messed up on my nose. <laughs> oh, the joys of masks. Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's go inside. A lot of manga and comics. Wow. You have the drawing of the three in paperback. They've got what age? Oh, right here. Dark Tower comic. This is the first one, I think. The Gunslinger Born. I don't really collect these yet, <laughs> so. But I think that's pretty cool. So we stumbled across a store that looks like not only half Japanese beauty products and Asian beauty, but also grocery items. I'm in heaven. I'm already seeing a lot of my. Japanese beauty favorites. I gotta look. Yet another detour. We saw that they had this cute little restaurant, or I should say bakery slash boba place. And we haven't had boba in a while, so we went and I'm waiting for mine to be made. And I grabbed an almond croissant, which is like one of my favorite type of pastries. Oh, so excited. <laughs> Yay, got some boba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> well, I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna head back. I did some heavy duty book shopping as well as got some groceries. So let's head back and I'll recap what I picked up. Okay, so now I'm back home and ready to share with you guys the books that I picked up. I got all of these books, which there are seven books here or about 15 bucks is actually like $14 and some change and I just rounded it up to 15 to donate the rest of the change. You really can't beat those prices so as I go through what I purchased I'll also share with you guys what I paid for them. Now before we get started a quick little reminder to subscribe if you like this type of content as well as like this video it helps me out a ton in the algorithm and if you wouldn't mind to follow my Instagram 
I'd highly appreciate it. Also, this video is like a special edition because I'm almost doing like a video within a video. If you guys like these come around and shop with me type of video slash vlogs, I'm not only doing this where I'm doing thrift book shopping, but I'm also doing a beauty shopping little tour because randomly while I was filming this, I stumbled across a very nice little beauty shop that had a ton of Asian beauty products. So I'm actually going to put that video over on my main channel since it's like a beauty shopping vlog and I'm going to discuss some of my favorite J Beauty products that I saw because I spotted a ton of amazing products. I was honestly surprised by the selection at that store. Now I only picked up books from the first shop which was the Goodwill and that's because you really can't beat Goodwill prices. So I did, I did go a little crazy but in all honesty all of these books I was interested in them. I didn't just grab them because they were affordable. So let's go ahead and go through them. Oh, by the way, I do wipe all of my books down whenever I bring them into the house with sanitizing wipes. I do that normally, but I just thought I'd point that out. So the first book that I picked up is Siddhartha. I actually had this on my wish list on thrift books. So instead of paying, I don't know, probably like three to five bucks, still really affordable, I paid $1.99. And I just really like this copy, this edition. I'm super into this era of mass market paperbacks. I think these were like 1980s. I am correct, 1981. So. I just think that these are really cool looking. This will hopefully be a quick little read for me, but like I mentioned to you guys at the beginning of this video, I'm into reading some classics that I haven't got my hands on yet. So for me, I find that it is the best to find these types of books at secondhand shops or thrift shops or Goodwills or wherever, because since so many of these like classic type of books have been floating around, you can oftentimes find them in those types of stores. So never pay full price unless you're like looking for a specific edition. You probably have good luck trying secondhand shops. Next in the same vein, I got The Phantom of the Opera. I, I actually am not familiar with the story of The Phantom of the Opera. I just know it's like a phantom in an, <laughs> in an opera, I think. <laughs> I'm familiar with some of the references. Like I know like the half mask thing and then the organ. Outside of that, I don't really know anything about the storyline, the premise, the play. So I think I have my work cut out for me with this book. I paid $1.99 for this and again, I just really like this cover. I believe this is also from like 1980s, 1987. The next classic that I picked up is this one, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I don't know anything about this book, which is why I'm trying to read some classics and get some, you know, literary foundation under my belt. This is my attempt. And evidently this has the Brave New World revisited. I'm assuming that's just like a added introduction. I don't even know, but this was $1.99. So I thought I'd try this book out and see what it's all about. I mean, it sounds adventurous. Brave New World. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to read. I'm trying to self-educate myself, people. Next, I picked up Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. Now, this was actually a recommendation by my sister who, if you guys are curious, she's basically like the inspiration for all my reading and this book too because she just reads so much. In fact, pretty much every book, I'm like, ooh, that's on my TBR. My sister's like, read it. And so she actually pulled this off the shelf and recommended this, not only because she said that this was a really good book, but she really likes this author, Octavia E. Butler. She's giving me like the whole author's bio in the store. She is an American science fiction author, the multiple recipient of both the Hugo and Nebula Awards, and became in 1995 the first science fiction writer to receive a MacArthur Fellowship. So very cool. I'm excited about this. I actually did have this on my TBR, but she's the one who grabbed it and told me more about it, and basically, now I want to read it. So the next book that I picked up, I was super excited to see, because this, again, is another book that's on my first book's wish list, and this is Dress Your Family and Corduroy and Denim by David Sedaris. I've never read anything from David Sedaris, but I've seen his works floating around, and this book I actually saw recommended in, like, a recommend a book that's lighthearted or has like some type of humor to it. So I guess his writing's supposed to be somewhat comedic. And I believe this is like a collection of essays, autobiographical, I don't know. I just saw a lot of people recommend this and were like, if you're looking for like a fun read, this is a fun read. So I paid $1.99 for this. I think on third books, this is probably like four or five bucks. So I saved myself a couple bucks by getting it on in Goodwill. Okay, this next book was just something <laughs> I grabbed because it kind of sounded cool, or it sounded really cool actually. It's The Call of Cthulhu and Other Dark Tales by H.P. Lovecraft. 
Now, I believe H.P. Lovecraft is famous for his horror writings or for being a horror author, and I'm, I'm kind of into it. Like, I'm super into that genre, obviously. I'm, like, obsessed with Stephen King. So I thought this would be really interesting, and you guys know I do my Folklore and Fairy Tale Fridays on this channel, which I realize I'm far behind on. I'm working on some. It's also because my laptop is currently in the shop because it went on the fritz. Anyways, you guys didn't need to know that, but I like to read this kind of stuff. I'm so into like folklore, mythology, cryptids, so that type of thing. And so I thought this might be a nice book to read. It was $1.99, so if it's not what I think it is or what I'm hoping it is, then I'll just re-donate re it back to the Goodwill. But yeah, I'm excited about this. It's definitely a book that I just kind of grabbed and was like, that sounds wild, Cthulhu. Also, it's just fun to say. Last but not least was a book that has been on my TBR for quite some time, and it is The Devil in the White City. I was super stoked to get this because not only is it a book I want to read, but it's a hardback. So I paid $2.99 for this. So this was, I believe, the most expensive book from this little haul because it is the hard book. It's still a little damp for my sanitizing wipes. Now this is by Eric Larson who has some other works that I want to read. This will actually be my first book from Eric Larson and I have been waiting for this book on Libby for the longest time and every time I'm able to loan it out or like borrow it I've got some other books I'm working on so I wanted to dedicate some time to reading this and so I'm excited now that I have a physical copy I can kind of just read it whenever I want and this is supposed to be about some murder mystery I believe this is nonfiction. Murder, magic, and madness at the fair that changed America. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I noticed you guys really liked my last thrift book shopping video, so I wanted to take you guys along with me to some different shops. So let me know if you guys like this style of video. I can definitely continue doing this because there's lots of shops that I could drive to, and I enjoy doing it too. This is actually a bigger haul <laughs> than I was expecting. Like, usually I pick up a couple books. I picked up seven, so I got some reading ahead of me. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!